Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? My name is GSQ Zeus, if you didn't already know, also known as the Moves. And today we are finally bringing you the hand cam you have all been waiting for. You guys all want to see my pretzel ass fingers. So here it is. We got Doomblade in the back. Shout out to Doomblade saying yes. He's helping me record this video. I appreciate it. But all we're going to be doing today, guys, is just showcasing how I bounce and maybe explain a couple things, turn it into a little tutorial. But off the bat, we're going to get into it because you guys have been waiting for oh so long. Let me warm up, get it popping, just to showcase how crazy my fingers is. Uh, uh. Now, I do think everyone can bounce the way I do. It's just, you know, you either have to use tournament or some type of controller, uh, changing mechanism, whatever, the remapping of the buttons. And now, as you guys can see, it is a little bit hard to constantly stay in the view of the cam for you guys to see because I have a certain angle I play at. I've tried everything, guys. You guys don't understand. I put together 16 freaking hours of content the other day to make this video, and it was all done wrong. <laughs> so I was hella pissed. But, um, yeah, guys, so I'm just going to showcase the bounce, the pullback, some styles of wall bounce, and some, uh, some ABs. As you can see from the AB, people always ask how I do it. I do actually overlap my thumb onto my B button and my A wraps around and kind of, you know, sits and just finesses the A button and just rotates with it. Uh, uh, uh. But yeah, guys, basically all I'm going to do is showcase wall bouncing and how my fingers do it in some spots. I'll basically break down each spot. We got wide areas like this, which what you're going to want to do is just, you know, go wider with the bounce, feel it towards the wall, make your way towards the wall before you pull back. If you don't know what pullbacking is, I will link you to another video. But basically all it is to break it down one final time with a hand cam is hitting the wall and pulling off of it. You can do it on default, as you can see, hitting the wall, pulling off with my left stick, hitting the wall, pulling off. And the main part you guys want to learn is hitting the wall, pulling off, rotating your right stick to, to the left, or whatever way your angle of your character is going. So I'm hitting the wall, pulling off, looking to my left. Hitting the wall, pulling off, looking to my right. So once you know that basis and you combine it into all things and learn how to you know, just get advanced with it, you're going to learn that a lot of things are going to help you from reaction shotting just to controlling your character and doing stuff like this, learning your up A's, your side A's, and your reaction shots. Oh. So if you guys didn't learn anything about those yet and you would like to, I do have a, a mechanics breakdown video that I will link. So go ahead and check that one out. Alright guys, so I basically just want to showcase some of the movements and some of the wall bouncing I actually do play in Claw. I want to make this clear though, this isn't an advanced tutorial. Guys, I actually did the advanced tutorial within the last three days. I was working on it and it was a really well done video. And you know, I found out that I didn't do it the correct way. The way I recorded the hand cam was completely wrong. So I had to scrap the whole entire project and now I'm about to be on my way to Florida. So I'm sorry that I couldn't put it out there the way I wanted to be but at least now you guys get to see what I do in some of the situations and if you're a visual learner this is gonna help you a lot as you can see just the way I move around I know some of the angles in the positions of the hand cam weren't the greatest but you guys gotta understand it is really weird first off knowing you're recording your hands well playing well going for outplays or moving and talking it is way harder i give so much kudos to anyone who constantly does anything that's related to hand cam face cam or talking all at once it does take a lot of memory so um basically all i did guys is just show you a bunch of different scenarios i put in some ab bouncing as you can see in there just going wild with the movement my hands look my fingers literally look like the flash right there <laughs> but um yeah just showing you guys all types of different movements and what actually goes on with my crazy ass hands now i do think anyone can bounce the way i do i don't think everyone can do it on claw basically what i'm trying to get at is there is other ways to do this tournament or other different button mapping controllers depending on what you do so this is not the only way to be a fast wall bouncer or to be a great gears of war player some people even think claw should be frowned upon obviously i'm not one of those people because claw has been my thing since halo 2 and i just naturally love doing it I think it gives you the edge and accuracy and overall movement. As you can see right here, I'm in a smaller space. And in smaller spaces, you want to worry about going less 
towards your bounce and more towards the, towards the wall. You want your character to actually be looking, but you want to be able to pull away before he gets too close. For side to side, it's the exact same thing. It's almost like bouncing literally left, right, left. Like you notice how I'm rotating my character's whole body and then looking right. That's how you bounce side to side. Instead of doing a forward motion, you have to get used to completely looking to your left and going all back. It's mainly about you know muscle memory and rotation and just learning the way your character moves. Right here, um, I wasn't completely warmed up. Majority of this was me being in a hurry, so I wasn't crazy warmed up. But I'm about to showcase some of the backwards of wall bounce, which was in a previous video. It's just about, you know, it's the same concept of wall bouncing, just slowly moving backwards. And obviously, it's way harder. Alright, and right here we just got some standard wall bouncing and a little bit of a slimmer area. The same thing goes back to the smaller side. You just want to learn about controlling the walls. And then I rotate it to a wide area. I just want to show you guys how you can be in a small area and instantly rotate to a wide area. You can even go side to side. The main point is just to showcase every scenario in which I'm wall bouncing. Right here, I think I was either taking shots or reloading at the same time. As you can see, the way my, in or my middle finger is on R be that is how I play and how I shoot when I'm in an active gunfight right here I actually showed you guys I speed it up slow it down speed it up slow it down just going left and right just to show you guys there is so much control in wall bouncing Alright guys, so basically just more movement showcasing for you guys. I think I got a couple more tips that I'll hop back on the mic for. But the last couple things are just showcasing movement, honestly. I think the best way to learn from wall bouncing is just visually learning and adding your own style. You have to have a rhythm and a pattern that you just feel comfortable. And just get used to it. Add combinations of strafes, wall bouncing, pivots, drunken strafes, roadie runs. Anything that makes you feel smooth and just keep the flow going. Alright guys, that's actually going to be all for the commentary on this video. If you guys want to see more advanced tutorials and gameplays, etc. with the hand cam, let me know. Destroy that like button. If this video helped you out and you feel like you learned from it, make sure to destroy that like button. I do want to say, just to get this out the way, guys, this video did not turn out the way I wanted to. I still think a lot of people can learn from it, but I wanted to go the complete advanced route. I was going to do everything like I did my mechanics video, which I did, but the the file was corrupted and the way I record it was wrong which is on my end guys but now that I'm going to be going to Florida I do promise you guys when I do get back I got you guys the best thing I can say is just learn visually from this for now you see the you see the fingers you see what's going on it's there's nothing behind the scenes that y'all don't know about I ain't no crazy magician I just got some crazy fingers <laughs> so yeah guys um like I said I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out I might just, you know, continue the con. Look at this. Uh, uh, look at that movement. Uh, uh, through the middle. Uh, ooh, e, ooh, baby. Uh, ooh, he's got me bobbing my head. Hey, ooh, ah, damn, that wide ass bounce. Let's go. But yeah, guys, I hope you stay tuned for the rest of the video to see some more bounces. But yeah, like I said, if this video helped you out, make sure to comment and like. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.
Yo, real quick, you know to end the video, we gotta do a shout out for the Olympus fam. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for the amazing support. We're almost at 16,000 subscribers already, which is just incredible. And we're on the road to 20K, which is just <laughs> amazing, guys. So quick shout out, just went through some of my old messages. Dude, we made it. Visual, Evil, Brenna Peel, Ultimate Kevin, WMP, Moments Johnny, Solar EV, Pulses, Nismoda Dream, much love, homie. King Raisin. Anchor, bro, I'm Harambe. Are you really? So deadly. LD Full Pro. F you, Joshua. And we're going to do five more, so I'll stop it right there. Right there. We got Glow Gang, J Band, Icy Handles, ULLR, OP, Astro, Extreme, OGC247. He's been in a couple, actually. F you, Joshua. Much love. F you, Joshua. I just realized I'm saying, fuck you, Joshua. <laughs> no, but much love, homies. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And one more time, if you did, demolish, annihilate, destroy that like button. Much love, homies, and peace out.